Previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. I, I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. I give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Larry's just... looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker. But the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. Yeah, I know. I'm just really frickin' hungry. Ah! Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit, walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Please hurry! Please! Let Lee, me do out something! Of this. this is bad. This is so bad. Hurry! There has to be a way out of this! You stand like that at the Air Force Base to lift ordnance. You're not cutting through that. Is he... Is he gonna Wait, make it? Jane! Come on! There's gotta be something we can do! No, no, no! Stop! Do you think you let's can get go, it over? Let's go! Stop! Fuck! We have to get him out. There's got to be another one. No, no, no! Stop! Fuck! Lee just cut off his fucking leg! We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go. Now! I'm gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Lee! I can't keep you back around! I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. Oh god, there's so many of them. Oh god. Shit. Is he? He passed out. Alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you, Travis. Come on, come on, we gotta move. No! Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? 
Come on, come oh on! Oh my god. What happened? Oh, what the What's going on? I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wh what No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Most people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly.
Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Back in a bit. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. <sighs> Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Ken! Lee! Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? I have it! 
You okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no! He wasn't! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. You're lying. It's true. I swear it. Maybe he's right. I didn't see any bites. It would explain why there's so many of them. Jesus Christ. If you just die, and that's all it takes. And shit. One fatal car wreck in a family of five turns into a family of walkers. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Back off! Whoa, lady, relax! Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out! I said back off! Carly... We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. See how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? Lily. She runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. 
How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who oh, are they? Fuck you. Fuck you fucking knew ass we were hungry. Ass. And you guys were keeping it There's all yourself. Oh no, there's yeah, a lot more. Yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Jesus! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is, St. John's Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha, they fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Lily. She's tough as nails and keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. Lily was in the military, like me. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Thank you. 
Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. How'd it break? Got busted the first day those... things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. I'm gonna need some rope. And there's got to be a board around here I can use as a seat. there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here. Just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was a tough night. When will dinner be ready? It'd be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy. But don't tell him I said that. <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Hmm. Pointy. This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size... This might make a good seat for the swing. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. 
Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. What's that? Generator. You guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Hey. The fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. The generator might be a problem. And he said it's tricky and repairing it takes him a while. Still, it's a hell of a lot more secure than the motor in. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know? Like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. How's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I... I'm, I'm sorry, alright? We'll work it out somehow. Well... Hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Looks like he's stuck. And he said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Looks like he's stuck. Disgusting. Who do you think he was? Maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. Uh. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. 
Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Uh, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Man, the fence burnt right into its hands. I think they fused together. Man, the fence burnt right into its hands. I think they fused together. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. Alright, I can suck it up. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on! Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on! Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here! What the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out! Ah, fuck you, strong bitches! Ah! That new meeting out! Get out of the hey, let's talk this out! Behind the tractor! Give us the food! Damn! Get closer! I already got one of you! Show yourself! No fuel! Don't think I can't see ya! I see him! You assholes! Blades are stuck in the dirt! You got lucky that time! Did you really think you fucking... Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house! Ah! What happened? Oh, shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down early. I'm gonna have to move it. You asshole! I already got one of you! We gotta move, you asshole! Behind the tractor! Where do you think you're going? Now there you Give us the food! Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Yo, 
you okay? Yeah, barely. Come on, the gate's right there. Get out of here! You lucky son of bitches! Go ahead and run! We ain't going nowhere! Lee! What's wrong? The electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit! Are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark! Oh my god! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it! Carly said this place was locked down tight! Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down. But I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. That thing keeps a fence electrified. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. 
Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much. And lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid, if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Hey. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Lots of hay. Ugh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Hey. Haley, found anything interesting? I was talking to Andy a bit earlier. Doesn't sound like they have too many guns around. They rely mostly on the fence to keep them safe. So long as you're on this side, things are all right. Provided the fence holds out. Well, that's the problem. When there's no more gas, there's no more fence. That's true. Well, it's good to know what we're working with here. Keep looking around, and let me know if you find anything else. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. That's funny, considering you didn't seem too worried about Duck back at Herschel's farm. That's in the past, Kenny. A lot's happened since then. Yeah, right. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? 
I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. They look happy. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clint. I hope so. I hope so, too. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? I got lucky out there. It'll have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. <laughs> 